Hi, I'm here, Mo9098, and I'm here to show you how to use GarageBand on the Mac. So here, I have a Mac, GarageBand 2011, and I've created my own song here. Just going on. And here's my song. I have finished it. But I am not going to release it yet because I'm not using it for this this exact um, YouTube account. So I'm just going to show a preview of a little bit of it. So here it is. That's all I can show you for right now. But I'm going to go ahead and open a new track. Go to new project, you want to choose loops. If you're going to create one without an instrument, but if you have like a guitar you want to record, just piano, you know, stuff like that, go ahead and choose these. Or you can make a song with songwriting, but I'm going to choose loops. And we're just going to create it my song too. So we want to keep this as normal, keep it saved in GarageBand folder, keep all that, create. So here, it'd probably be default shown like this, hang on, it'd be shown default like this, GarageBand. But we want to show it in this. Just click the eye down the corner, it's open. So to start off, I'm going to choose a beat. Drag it in. I have my beat. So stop. If I don't want another beat, I can just hit the reset. Choose percussion or a kick or a bass. I'm going to choose an electric right there. Let's get an electric. Let's try that out. See how that works out? So I'm gonna add some more into it, so like... Like that. Try it out. I don't want this on. Make sure this is off. It makes it sound weird. Let's start and then we go back. So I like that. Oh, wait. When you're doing this, some of these might not be available because you have to download the update for the new instruments. Just go over to the Apple software update. Have it checked. If that doesn't work, click on one of the things and click download now. It should download. Copy this. You can always go up the top. Make sure it's right here. The file so it doesn't copy on top. We can hit paste. We can paste that right there. Just hit number one or hit play. Always 
the background. I like this. I'm just edit and copy this. Hit right here the seven mark. And paste it. Oops. Paste it again. Put it back right there. Paste it again. Right there. Now it starts from right there. So. So I did like that, and I also have a buddy I want to do, so I can always, I want to, I want him to hear this, because me and him are doing this together, so I can share, I can just share it to him right now, and I can put it on disc, I can put, let me go back to the desktop, let's see, this says, my song 2, and then, and then there's this, right here and just hit play around the desktop yeah I like that so I'm gonna keep that like that this is my other one I can always hit play on put them back into garage band and so to pretty much just do that, you just hit reset, hit more beats, and then go back to the electro because that was working out pretty good for me. <laughs> See how this is working? See, this is kind of like this is how you're supposed to do it. This is like. Other people just don't get it because they're always on this part of the system, the application. But you always want to be on the eye if you want to make it yourself. So this is pretty much how you use GarageBand. Just keep doing that, make it work, make it sound perfect, and share it with me when you can if you make one. Just go to my channel and just upload it up to me. Send a message to me. I will listen to it and I'll tell you how to do it. Because I mean, this is cool stuff. People can make a living off this. This. Me and my buddy are trying to do this with, the, with our new YouTube account. So when you get a chance, go on um, YouTube, on YouTube, and um, search up M M and you just go. Once I get a one up uploaded, you should be able to get up and get into my channel because I have a, I have another friend. Um, and then tracks. If you ever get a chance, let's hit the upload button. Um, just add him. This is where our songs will be on. Once we do finish them, we'll put them on this one. So don't bother trying to go to more. So let's see how this sounds out. That's how I pretty much use GarageBand. So mess with that a little bit, create some. Always save your work. Always hit the save button. Remember, exporting, export to iWeb, send ringtone to iTunes if you wanted to make it. Send song to iTunes, no burn to song disk. Paste it back. Basically, just you know, you know, figure that out. Play with it. <laughs> 